kind of performance with a normal muffler. That's uh, all to do with the straight pipe. So we're gonna stick this son of a bitch in fucking uh, probably in. I don't know what that is there. B probably B one. Now we got this big fucking thing behind it. Here. We're gonna just step it out of the way. Cause... How you doing under there, new Antoine? Yeah. Antoine's mentor. <laughs> Can't see. Can't see. That's good. And how are you? Well, not so bad. Good view. <laughs> Just ready to catch the birth of his little baby here. Six pound, five ounce baby Jesus. <laughs> oh my God, it's crowning. <laughs> I can see hair. I have a harmer. A harmer. One behind me, not enough. No. Oh. <laughs> so close. That is stiff. Oh yeah, because the top is all. Oh fucking yeah. Gross. Carbon, carbon ring. Should have waited to come out the bottom. <laughs> They fall out then. Right into your face. Yeah. Want a shorter here. board? Under here. Yeah, maybe. I'll try to find one. <laughs> yeah, I walked away and I missed the berth. <laughs> There's one. No, well, actually that's number two. Well, I, yeah, ha ha, I know it's number two, but. <laughs> who's on first? <laughs> what? Who's on? I'm telling you, who's on first? <laughs> no, 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 what's on second? <laughs> There we go. Here's a bearing. So, for 17,000 hours, the bearings don't look that bad, so I'm still not really sure why it decided it should fucking spin one. 72,000 hours. <laughs> this one's not as good, I guess, the top, but still. Whatever. Anyway, it's coming apart and she's going to be fixed now, so. Anyway. Keep on tearing things apart and we'll bring you back in a few. Okay, we'll try to get it this time. This is the one that caused the grief here. That was nuking. The old carbon ring. Yeah. It is coming. Yeah, it's coming. Very, very little. Dunk. <laughs> It's moving. I know, but the jacks in the, in the way. Yeah, needs a shorter board. It does. One more. <laughs> You're almost there. There it is. There's a bearing. Uh -oh. <laughs> there you go. Anyway. Keep rolling things out and we'll bring you back in a bit. <laughs> Fuck, that was scary. <laughs> Just stinks, yeah. I was just thinking. Yeah, about. they're not much better. No, they are not very good. <laughs> <laughs> All the nickels gone on them. She was time, about eh? ten years ago. Time to do them. 
See guys, that's why, oh, my tractor runs fine with the bearings in it. Change the fucking things. Oh yeah. Eek. Change the bearings, then you avoid this. Yeah. Fast. Should have done it last year, yeah. but hard to do when the tractor gets used every day. Put 5010s and 5020s all in the junk pile, never have to worry about it. You fuck off there, 4020. <laughs> <laughs> When it's back together, I'll show you who the boss is again. Ten minutes. Well, it doesn't matter. In the ten minutes, I'll do what you could do in a half an hour, and a case could in a year, so. <laughs> I'm still trying. <laughs> not, no, not yet. It's not May yet, so. So you had a few busted rings. And this main bearing is not good business. And this is the one that spun six. Anyway, can be fixed. <laughs> Dusty. So, we got our patches on here to plug the uh, holes where things were, and now the uh, structure in here, their infinite wisdom, that's where they cut a hole through to put their cab cooler, and then decided that's not where they actually wanted it, and moved it over a little bit further, so. <laughs> that's all uh, flimsy and half rotted out, so we're going to put some square tubing and a new sheet across there and kind of hide all that ugliness that way and stiffen her up a bit again. Dad's just grinding off some of the old paint and junk that's under there. Before he welds on it, but... Not really. You keep grinding. I'll make a more, more vidya here after when you're done. <laughs> anyway, bring you back here in a few. Well, it's the next day. We have our patch welded in place on the inside all sanded down patches on the roof she's ready for paint but when we do yellow we got to do these spacers for the duels at the same time and uh, cover up some parts right quick <clears throat> but that'll be in a couple minutes um, what we found here, some pretty bad lines on this sleeve. This one's not terrible, it's not great either though. This one's alright, it's pretty good. This one is pretty good. And we'll hone it. This one is not great. And this one is really bad. This is the one that the uh, rod went in. So you can see the piston is running up and down the edge of it. So those parts aren't cheap. And they don't offer rebuild kit anymore. Who they were getting them through retired. So all the parts are individual. So... Yeah, it's going to be a few bucks. <laughs> anyway, we'll bring you back here in a few.
It's a big fat piece of yellow. <laughs> Nice. Well, a little bit later here, I ran to Mooseman, dropped off the crankshaft and the block. They're going to get sent away to get uh, the head rebuilt and the crank ground, probably 30 thousandths over to uh, get rid of the scoring from that bearing that spun. Uh, a few of you guys are asking if I could go into greater detail a little bit on some of these projects of what the uh, dollar figures are. So I'm going to do it on this one just so you guys can see uh, a little bit of what a guy's spending to keep these old girls going. But this one's special because it's the 5020. <laughs> I'm going to be spending a little bit on it, but I'm going to still try to do it a little bit cheaper because I can't not afford what they want for a complete engine kit, which is unfortunate because that's what I wanted to do, but I digress. What are you going to do? What a guy's going to end up doing is changing this piston for sure and rod. That's the one that fucked up. Um, there's an, the rest of the pistons are in really good shape, and you can usually tell what kind of shape your wrist pin is in too by the edge of your piston so if this was rubbed smooth anywhere on the sides you'd be able to tell that your wrist pin was allowing your piston to do that and well there's no wear at all on any of them till you get to the one that the bearing screwed up in see that so that one's gonna get changed but the line, the sleeves here get all this plastic off of it now I guess too but um, there's two sleeves that are real bad remember I showed you this back one here that's the one that the bearing went in and then this front one up here so you can't get an in, in frame kit you gotta buy all the parts individual and I can only get it from John Deere no one else has any parts which is handy Per hole is about $700 for piston, rings, and sleeve. So you do a little bit of math to see how much that engine's going to cost. That's before bearings, before bolts, before anything. That's just a piston, rings, and sleeves. So, yeah, going to be a couple bucks. <laughs> what do you do, though? It's the 5020. You got to... She's earned it, so... <laughs> we'll get her done up. Anyway, I just got back from Mooseman. I picked up some parts that were in. I got a case of rattle can green. That's what I'm just going to use on those bars there. It's easier than using the big gun for that little amount that's there. I'll just use the cans. You won't know the difference. And then uh, some nice new lead lights for it. And I also got or ordered for the sprayer parts catalog. So we got breakdown of everything with part numbers. So that'll be nice for uh, when a guy's got to order something or look up how something works or whatever because it gives a really nice breakdown. But yeah, I guess that's where I'm going to leave you for this evening. We're kind of at a standstill till that paint cures and I can mask things off and hit her with the green here tomorrow morning. And then we'll... Uh, Probably pull fenders and things off and get that all mounted up while we wait for engine stuff. And then there might be a bit of a hiatus on this project for a few days until parts show up. And we'll bring something else in to work on in the time being. And then I guess too, like I said, we'll bring uh, injection pump and injectors away. And I'm going to take them to a shop and get them tested and rebuilt. And uh, we'll bump her up 10 or 15%. Make a little bit more black smoke. So what's 15% of 145 is what? 
25, something like that. So it'll be 170 horse kind of deal. That'll be all right. Anyway, I guess. Thank you much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button, comment, subscribe for more. And we'll talk to all you in the next one.